Someone is avoiding something with you. This is someone who is wanting to be rescued or there's other people involved, but I feel this is someone who is definitely avoiding a situation that needs to be resolved. This is someone who wants you to be overly anxious or excited about something. This is someone who wants you to be anticip anticipating something. Someone wants you to be in the energy of anticipation. This is someone who is wanting you to be obsessed. Hmm. Someone is wanting you to be obsessed and focused on coming back together. This is someone who is wanting you to be focused on the connection or the fact that something is still, still has no closure. But I feel for many of you, you're completely over it. You've learned your lesson. I feel that you have learned a lesson while dealing with someone who is completely lost. Um, this is someone who wants to focus on negotiating. This energy is even ready to beg or plead for some type of forgiveness, even though they know they don't deserve it. This is someone who wants to come back together within a situation. This energy wants a rebirth. Yet I feel it's only because they're under pressure. I feel like this energy is under pressure when it comes to blood ties or an inner circle. Something that they destroy purposely or even by default. I feel this energy is now reflecting on it all. I feel for some reason this energy hasn't clearly learned a lesson here. And I feel this energy thinks that they have, but they were only cutting corners. This is someone who has a lot of baggage. And they know it. I feel this energy is under pressure when it comes to a third party or a relationship that they now deem is toxic. But I feel they are also toxic too. Because this energy is pretending to not be triggered. I feel like this is someone who is on a hamster wheel when it comes to a daily struggle because they're having a hard time surviving without you. This energy does see you as a best friend or a soulmate. This was a close bond and they're wanting to just pop up, surprise you unexpectedly, but I feel there's history here. There is something from the past that is affecting the current situation. This is why they have failed to resolve something or even pop up. They're filled with anxiety. Someone is filled with anxiety and they could be upset that something is still silent. There's no action being taken. It's only crickets. However, there is a high level of emotions here. The two of you are no longer in sync and someone is single because you've cut the cord. For many of you, I feel you were pushed to do this. You were pushed to cut a cord with someone because they were careless. This energy wasn't growing. I feel like this is someone who wants you to be obsessed. Oh, wow. I feel like they're obsessed as well. I feel this energy is obsessed with getting you fixated on their energy again. So much so that they're willing to say or do anything to convince you they've changed or they can be trusted. Yet, they may also use your words against you. I feel like this energy may use your words or your actions as an excuse to avoid the truth or even an honest conversation with you just to take advantage of the fact that you love openly or authentically. For many of you, you had to cut the cord when it comes to this situation because the emotion was too high. You're triggered as well. And you're not wanting to deal with the daily hustle of trying to survive this. It's just too much. And now this energy is pretending not to be triggered by the loss of you. But they are also dealing with a third party situation that they are lost in as well. Let's get some energy here, Holy Spirit. Energy here for the collective. What are the messages here for the collective energies? I feel like this energy is seeking approval for from the wrong energies. For many of you, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of chemistry, but I feel like a lot of love and respect was lost because of their behaviors. This is someone who never appreciated you as a gift. Yet you are coming out as someone who is super sweet. 
but this energy has left you in some type of confusion or a mystery. Especially when it comes to affairs of the heart. I feel like this is someone who had some type of agenda, was strategizing in some type of way, but I feel something is just not going to go as planned because from what I can see, you're about to make something clear here. I feel like you're keeping focus on something else. You could be keeping yourself busy when it comes to how you feel about this energy. I feel you have a, a true longing, longing for change. But I also feel someone is taking you down memory lane. This could also be their energy as well. Hmm. But I feel you're about to find some type of contentment without them. That is also going to shake things up here. But for many of you, I definitely feel... You're burning off steam. You could be burning off energy. This could also be their energy as well. But I also feel you're going to be restoring balance in some type of way. Something that was unspoken is about to be said. Um, so you could be restoring the balance when it comes to something unspoken. Even if you have already cut the cord. You can't trust this energy. Hmm. And I feel you've come to that heavy conclusion. But as I said before... From what I can see, you're about to bruise their ego, even their reality with the truth. Facts. Where I sense you're speaking truth or giving them a piece of your mind with harsh words or just having no filter. Yet, this won't be received well by this energy. I don't think this will be received well because they see you standing up for yourself as a sense of negativity, a.k.a. You just, knowing that you deserve better, this energy doesn't like the fact that you're standing up for yourself. I feel like it affects this energy in a way that makes them want to affect you by claiming your actions or your words or the real reason things have gotten worse. Because this energy seems like they're claiming your heart to talk to when really you're no longer letting them corner you with their foolishness, their shenanigans. Because I sense your, your love, it truly runs deep. It's just, they were too shallow or selfish to see it. Now there's no trust, you may have cut the cords, and you're speaking a truth that they can't handle. I feel the truth that you speak will restore balance. This could be you blowing off steam because this energy was never there. This energy never put in the effort. This energy was a ghost. I feel like this energy never put in the effort when it comes to loyalty. This is another reason why the both of you are not on speaking terms. I feel like this energy left things in a space of confusion, disappointment, causing everything to go up in smoke. I feel like things went up in smoke because this energy was keeping so many secrets and not keeping promises. I feel like they were just in over their head in over their head when it comes to emotions, affairs of the heart, and even pride. Because this energy definitely took a risk where there was no reward. Now this energy feels like they're denied when they used to have access. Well, they also feel denied when it comes to reconciling with you. They feel like something is pending. They feel like something is pending and they feel like they can get you to change your mind about something. This energy wants you to believe something was a misunderstanding when it was completely not. I feel there's a sense of caution when it comes to love because this energy feels like it's just a makeup to break up situation. However, I do feel you have options. You have options when it comes to love or what you truly need in life. Hmm, hear no evil, see no evil. Wow. Someone definitely wants a response from you. This could be masculine energy. This could be male or female energy. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is wanting your time. I feel time is definitely fading away. However, this energy has left some type of tracks here when it comes to family. For many of you, you may still have to deal with this energy because of a bloodline. Others, this energy is still trying to get you to be bound to them some type of way. But... Your heart is unlocked. 
and you could also be isolated. Someone is reflecting here. Someone is reflecting on the connection. If this is your energy, you're reflecting on how damaging it was. And for them, they're trying to figure out a way on how to get you to hold on once again. However, this energy is not coming from a space where anything is making any sense. This is another reason why things have just gone up, gone up in smoke. Let's get some more energy out. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Wow, something is definitely dragging when it comes to this situation. Something is still left to memory, oh well, mystery. And this energy does feel alone. Even if they're still hooking up with the sneaky link, someone wasn't supposed to take your place and they're wanting to heal from this. This energy wants to heal from it even though they know they were community property. Wow. Hmm. Yep, this is definitely community property. They're wanting to heal from it, but they just don't know how. How is this all coming out the same? Oh, wow. So, I feel like this is someone who ghosted you for a physical situation. It was only supposed to be about sex, but something went too far. They were only supposed to be a sneaking link. Someone was never supposed to take your place. And this is why someone is dragging their feet and leaving something to mystery. Because they really don't know what to say. For many of you, this is someone who says or does things just to hurt you. Yet, they're really upset because they can't control you. This is why they're leaving something to mystery. Hoping that you'll find a way to figure something out. Or the mystery will cause you to come out swinging or something this energy wants a reaction but they're just not getting it in fact i feel like this energy wants to slide in your dms or make some type of private type of contact for some reason this energy has something or someone around them that doesn't approve someone wants your attention because they know you're right or die but i also feel they're having some type of financial issues that they're definitely embarrassed about for many of you, this is someone who needs to pick up their feelings because they are definitely coming from a very petty, emotional space. For many of you, you also feel this energy needs some type of counseling. Because their heavy, unhealed hurt is the reason they move this way. But this energy is still thinking about the possibilities with you, but they know they screwed this up. This energy knows they screwed up making a relationship with you too toxic or filled with drama it was somewhat soul snatching because you feel like it was somewhat of a thirst trap dealing with a situation that was very toxic and for many of you it kind of blindsided you because this energy became someone you didn't clearly know Um, this energy is coming out as an overthinker. This energy is thinking about how they left you on red. Someone didn't return a phone call or a message and they're thinking about how damaging that was because they can't take it back or they can't take back what they said. Because trust me, they were really disrespectful about it. Now this energy is wanting to people please or please you in some type of way but not wanting to feel weak. This is catfish energy. Someone giving you something that is clearly not the truth. Someone is filled with fiction. Always wearing a filter. Not keeping it real. But they feel like it won't matter once you fall in love or come back. But it's too much going on here. This energy is definitely in and out. or Wishy-washy. As it seems it never... You really never know what you're going to get. But I feel it's all coming out in the wash. Because something is definitely flatlining. I feel for many of you this energy feels you have nothing but hate for them. Nothing but bad memories. And it's starting to piss them off. Because they know it won't be so easily... You won't be easily guided back to them. Someone's upset because they know they downgraded from you. They know the situation that they're in is a complete downgrade, all because they gaslighted you and took you for granted. Now this energy is trying to be strategic. This energy is trying to be strategic when it comes to reconciling or pulling you back into their energy because they do miss you. They just don't know how to maintain a proper relationship with you. 
Yet uh, this energy has it bad. This energy has it bad when it comes to being possessive, territorial. This energy wants you to be strong. This energy wants you to feel you can't live without them. You can't be without them. But this is just a toxic way of loving someone else. This is a toxic way of loving someone else. And they're trying to back, bounce back or get you back. But they could be dealing with a very toxic situation. This toxic situation will definitely have them in a space of mixed emotions. And they're definitely putting money first. So I feel like they could be in a situation where someone could be supplying their needs or their resources. And this is why they're still bound or attached to a third party or an environment. But they're miserable. This is why they're still trying to catfish you back into their life. Because this energy's life is not what it seems. This is someone who has self-sabotaged their own situation. And they have more problems than one. This could be an actual issue or people that they have allowed in their life. Please take it how it resonates. But whatever the case, you're not interested. I feel you've lost interest because of what they have chose to bring into their life. And it may just be too much to take a risk on because you're coming out as old school when it comes to love, tradition. Some of you may even have an old soul, even if you have a young heart. But I feel... You're no longer giving chances to someone you have always compromised with. Hmm. I feel they're confused by that. I feel like someone's confused by the fact that you're not opening the doors as easily as you once did. This is someone who may even reach out because of you. But I feel when they reach out, this energy is going to be very cryptic. Very cryptic within a message. Yet when you do respond, they're going to act like they're doing you a favor by engaging with you. As it seems, they believe they've made some type of clever move. Hmm. I feel like this energy thought they made a clever move by silencing something, creating some type of distance with you. They thought this would leave you in pieces when their absence has somehow brought you peace. This energy wasn't thinking something was going to fall apart the way that it did and they thought that you were going to be on standby now they're feeling like they're going to be the ones to have to reach out this is someone who wants you to hear them out even if it's a fake apology and if so you're going to see right through that because the vibes are off wow Wow, this energy, their vibe is off, and trust me, energy never lies, so pay attention to it. This energy doesn't want to feel vulnerable. They're scared of revealing a truth. But their fear is only coming from the fact that they are no longer happy in a situation that they're currently dealing with. Hmm. I feel like... This energy created little to no communication with the hopes of you finally giving in, yet things aren't working out like they thought it would. Which may finally put them in a position to realize that no matter how well they thought they had the game figured out, nothing lasts forever. Especially when it's done in the dark. Let's get a final deck out here. Um... I definitely feel someone is wanting to create some type of foundation with you. But they know that the trust, the lack of trust, is what's keeping you at bay. Even if they reach out, I feel this energy is still going to have mixed feelings about how you think or what they think of you. Because there's so many issues that they're not talking about. And I feel they're not talking about it for a reason. Let's get some final energy here. But I also feel whatever illusion or confusion they've been sitting in for so long has made them very comfortable playing these mind games. But I also feel it's about to all come crashing down. For many of you, I feel like you were right about their energy. You were right about something. Someone may be a mama's boy or someone who is too attached to someone they shouldn't be. Wow. Yeah, this is someone who's very inconsistent and walking on eggshells. 
This energy is walking on eggshells because they're not supposed to be where they at, they are. They know this, and so do you. I feel like this energy is making all the wrong decisions, but too afraid to come towards you. I feel this is also causing you confusion because this energy didn't hesitate when they left. Now this energy is trying to get on the right page when it comes to you, but I feel like they're walking on eggshells because they know it's not going to be easy. There could also be interferences here when it comes to this energy. This is also why they're walking on eggshells. Someone's phone could be broken or damaged. Wow. Someone wants them to be shut down. This is why they're inconsistent with you and scared to love. Because someone has done something here well, to keep them in this low vibrational space because this energy is definitely hurting without you. They just don't want to admit it. This is someone who can't sleep because of these sneaky behaviors. This energy is coming out as the troubled one. Someone who wants you to listen to the explanation that they have. No strings attached. This energy definitely wants to start over with you, but I feel this energy is still unstable. I feel this energy is still unstable and ignoring the truth when it comes to them getting caught. I feel this energy is still ignoring the truth when it comes to their book of lies because something is definitely damaged. Possibly even damaged for good, all because of a karmic partner or a karmic relationship and even their pride. I feel like this energy had too much pride causing a, con a connection to be shattered or broken beyond repair all because of their childish mind games. Now this energy be could be dealing with a heavy load of karma and it just might be too little, too late. For many of you, you may think this energy is for the streets or they could be dealing with energies that are front for the streets but there's definitely snake like vibes here snakes in the grass this energy is definitely trusted the wrong people and they're taking them down the wrong path these are not high value energies here and they're keeping them empty unfocused and disloyal this is get back energy someone's having some legal issues and there's a lot of petty gossip going around Wow, there's a lot of petty gossip going around, but I also feel for many of you, you're not looking back, especially when it comes to amending something with this energy, and they feel destroyed by that, but I feel this energy should have never played with you, especially when playing with affairs of the heart. They should have never given you fake love. Now they feel they're on restriction when it comes to you. They're still dealing with bad influences, and an unhealthy way of dealing with situations. This energy is still hitched to something. But for many of you, I feel like this energy didn't expect to fall in love. Because they're a complete heartbreaker. This energy has been sitting in this energy for a very long time. And for many of you, I sense your heart is so big, you may feel sorrow for someone who needs no sympathy at all. As your guides are wanting you to listen to your inner voice that tells you when someone has lost their way, as this is not your cross to bear. Yet I sense many of you may wonder if your presence in their life had a impact or some type of purpose for what you've been through. And I feel the answer is yes, more than you could ever know. However, you must understand at this phase in this energy's life, they are loyal to no one. This energy is loyal to no one but their needs and once their needs change, so will they. So will the loyalty. This is why the truth with them is always elusive and you have yet to receive an authentic apology. As I sense the closest you will ever come to an apology or truth is a well-crafted story that either makes them the hero or the victim, but never the villain. Because to them, the problem isn't their lives. In fact, they truly believe the real problem is that you, you're starting to see the truth. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.